our responsibility is to do no harm and to protect the patients. Well, we started to see a trend in central line insertion complications. Uh, along with that, we were also seeing um, some increases in uh, central line infections. Patients were staying longer in the, in the ICU. They were having to have multiple tries at access. There is an occasional patient that was dying, and dying with diseases that um, should not have led to death. And we as a community of doctors here decided that we'll put an end to that. And our goals were not directed towards just reducing the rates, but reducing them to zero. Five percent of people that walk into a hospital in the United States develop some sort of hospital-acquired infection. That five percent translates into a lot of deaths. Um, it translates into a lot of disability and a lot of cost. But those percentage points, even you know, going up or going down, um, is somebody's mom, somebody's relative, somebody's grandparent, somebody's child. So we've got to get it right. I did a series of debriefings with our internal medicine and our family medicine residents, and they actually were the ones who brought up their um, concern with our central line placement. And they felt like they didn't have the knowledge and the skills to do it safely. And so we took that information and we started looking at our numbers and started talking with the rest of the doctors and really putting together the big picture of what it meant um, to place central lines in East LA. Our goal was to standardize the procedure. We'll make sure everybody is uh, following the five steps in the IHI bundle and then the sixth step, uh, which is to use the ultrasound for main location. Sonocyte was instrumental in uh, helping us develop that program. Sonocyte was a great partner because not only did they help us with the equipment side of it, but they also helped us make the IHI bundle real for our physicians, um, helped us develop you know, our educational modules, um, really helped us identify what measurements we needed to track so that we'd know whether or not we were really making a difference, and then helped us analyze our outcomes. That's what helped change the culture, is Sonocyte's um, passion to help us have the tools and get, change the culture. The nurses are our patient's advocates, and if they see a doctor isn't washing his hands or her hands, uh, they see that they're not donning in on the down the right way um, and using proper sterile technique. Uh, they, we have empowered them with the ability to stop the procedure. As chief of staff, he looked at them and said, you know what, if you stop any doctor from doing something that you think is unsafe and he, give, he or she gives you a hard time, you call me and I will back you. In our hospital, we've reduced mechanical complications to zero. In 2012, here at White Memorial, in our critical care unit, we had a zero infection rate for central lines. The more days you're in the ICU, the more it costs, and the more the, the hospital may or may not be reimbursed for that care. Um, so I think what's, what's really been important for us is having a good central line program in our hospital that limits the complications for patients. As we meet with our colleagues in other um, facilities, um, oftentimes we share our infection rate and um, I think they're a little jealous of us. Well, last year when LeapFrog um, released the hospital ratings, we came in at a B. Not really happy with a B, but I'll take a B. So this year when they released the hospital ratings, we had moved from a B to an A. So I looked into the details behind why and a lot of them were right around those safety indicators, one of them being our bloodstream infections and those complications associated with um, those type of procedures. I think one of the great things about having a project like this is it changes your fundamental belief about what's acceptable and what's unacceptable. And now for us at White Memorial, central line infections and complications are not acceptable. Anybody and everybody in healthcare really has to believe that anything's possible. Um, you'll never get the outcome that you're expecting if you never start to try to think about the possibilities of changing a process. 
and change is hard and difficult, um, but if you never start, you'll never finish.